Is the Surface Go 3 winning the student laptop war? If you're a student who has been debating whether or not to get a Surface Go 3, then you should watch this video since we are going to give you a Microsoft Surface Go 3 review. When that is complete, we will let you know whether this device is a viable choice. Let's get started. Display. Its 10.5-inch pixel sense screen has a resolution of 1920 by 1280 on the Surface Go 3, almost identical to the display of the Surface Go 2. It has thin bezels that are comparable to those of the iPad Air 4. I see. The Surface Go 3's display was rated at 105% for sRGB coverage, the same as the Go 2's, and only ahead of the Surface Pro 8's score of 104%. The maximum brightness of the Surface Go 3 is 402 nits, which is quite close to the maximum brightness of the Go 2, which is 408 nits. The Surface Go 3 accurately renders colors. For example, in Doctor Strange, all of the luminous characters in the spells that Strange and Wanda cast seem quite sharp on the screen. Let's only hope the camera is as reliable. Anyway, we'll be talking about it in a while, so keep watching. Design and Ports In terms of design, at least, the Surface Go 3 is an exact replica of the Microsoft Surface Go 2. Its silver magnesium body is strong and sturdy, and the bezels around its 10.5-inch display are narrow. It has a rotating kickstand on the rear, so that it may be used in display and laptop-like modes. That kickstand has a groove in it that can be opened with a single finger, making its deployment a breeze. The dimensions of the Surface Go 3 are the same as those of its predecessor at 9.7 by 6.9 by 0.3 inches, and its weight is 1.2 pounds. Additionally, it has the same bezels and pre-ports, a Surface connector, a USB-C connector that draws power, and a headphone jack. All of the ports on the Surface Go 3 are located on the right side. The power button and volume rocker have been moved to the top edge of the smartphone. However, the micro SD card slot can still be found hidden away behind the kickstand. Due to the fact that it contains a headphone jack, you would likely appreciate it more than the iPad Air. Really? Anyway, if you want to be notified of future Microsoft Surface Go 3 updates, please subscribe to our channel immediately. Cameras For video conferencing through Microsoft Teams, Zoom, Skype, or Google Meets, the Microsoft Surface Go 3 has a 5-megapixel front-facing camera. The 5-megapixel camera records high-definition video and takes good pictures. The focus on the Windows camera app is solid, and the lens worked well even in low light. Until it became too dark, the colors were accurate, and the pictures looked sharp and clear. When comparing still photographs in 1080p HD video, the 8-megapixel rear-facing camera slightly outperforms the 5-megapixel front-facing camera. The colors were vivid, and the depiction of skin tones was spot-on. Without a wide-angle lens, you can still take panoramic photos, scan documents, and use it with the whiteboard app included with Windows 11. If you are a student whose studies or career include photography, this is not a terrible option. Keyboard and Stylus When it comes to official Microsoft accessories, the Surface Go 3 is no different. It also has three levels of adjustable illumination to provide the perfect atmosphere for any setting. However, the type cover might be uncomfortable to use if your hands are not on the little side. A feeling of tightness permeates the whole keyboard. To accommodate a tablet with a 10.5-inch screen, the letter keys on the 10.9-inch iPad Air's Magic Keyboard are ever so slightly bigger. With the Surface Go type cover, you can type at a pace of 60 words per minute with an accuracy of 86%. As such, you shouldn't have high hopes for its usefulness as a class note-taking tool. Bummer. In contrast, the touchpad on the Surface Go type cover isn't a major issue. It is big enough at 3.8 by 2.2 inches and quickly reacts to all of Windows 11's navigation gestures, as well as providing silky smooth scrolling. Additionally, the optional Microsoft Surface Pen may be used with the Surface Go 3. Stay tuned, as we will be addressing the price shortly. Battery Life Another test of the Microsoft Surface Go 3's metal leaves us unsatisfied. 
We don't see how a company could make a device in this category that fails to deliver in a critical aspect, such as battery life. The GO3 lasted 6 hours and 50 minutes in Laptop Mag's battery test, which entails constant web browsing over Wi-Fi at 150 nits of brightness, much less than the 823 category average. Regardless, Microsoft says all-day battery life up to 11 hours. All we can say is that you, as a student, should be mindful of how much time you spend on it. Pricing the Microsoft Surface Go 3 can be had for $629, and it has a 10.5-inch 1920 by 1280i PS touch display, a 10th-generation Intel Core i310-100Y processor, an integrated Intel UHD graphics 615 graphics processing unit, 8GB of RAM, a 128 gigabytes solid state drive and a fingerprint reader the surface go tight cover which normally costs 129 dollars and the surface pen which usually sells for 99 dollars for 399 dollars you can get the basic model of the surface go 3 which has an intel pentium gold 6500 y processor an intel uhd graphics 615 graphics processor 4GB of RAM, and 64GB of eMMC storage. Buying a Surface Pen will set you back an extra $99. If you are trying to stay within your financial means, then we recommend that you go with the $399 option. So what is the ultimate judgment after considering everything? If you're a student looking for a lightweight, versatile device, the Surface Go 3 is a great choice. The improved hardware of the Surface Go 3 makes it a suitable pick for students and others looking for a device that can handle both academic work and entertainment options like movies and TV programs. The Surface Go 3 is more adaptable because of its touchscreen, which can be used for sketching as well as note-taking in the classroom. If you are still unsure or want to know more about this device, check out our video on Surface Go 3 follow-up, review after 12 months, what truly works.